Welcome to this video. Templates and instances are one of the most important database configuration and organization features of Clear Scada. You can use them to significantly reduce the amount of configuration required to set up your system and to reduce the amount of maintenance required when making alterations to the configuration settings. The group template is a template for the configuration of objects in the database. There are two methods that you can use to create a group template. The first method is to create a new group template item and populate the items in the template. The second method is to convert an existing group configuration into a group template. In the following exercises, we use the reservoir configuration to create a configuration based on templates and instances. Start by creating a group named Templates in the Control Academy Training Group. Note that this is a normal group with the name of Templates, not a group template. Make a copy of the Reservoir.pump1 group and place the copy in the Templates group. Rename the group to Pump. On the templates, Pump, Default Mimic, embed the animated Pump Mimic that you created earlier in the Training.Symbols group. And tie this to the running point in the new Pump template group. Right-click the embedded animated pump and select Properties from the menu. Clear the relative checkbox so that absolute addressing is used. You should know that mimic references to items outside the template should always be absolute references. Now, put the mimic into run mode and test that the point state description and pump color are updated as expected. Add buttons to the Mimic to start and stop the pump. Verify that the start and stop buttons toggle the state of binary output. Now we will create a template from this configuration. Right-click Training, Templates, Pump and select Convert to, and then Group Template from the menu. The Pump folder should turn red to indicate it is a template. Now let's talk about overriding template settings. Right-click on the Pump Template object and select Edit Property Overrides from the menu. 
Property overrides allow you to override the configuration settings that are defined in a group template. This allows group instances to take their configuration from a template, but have some unique properties. Expand the running folder, expand the binary slash digital point, and select any property you want it to be overridden. Checkboxes are selected. When these items are selected, it means that each time we instantiate the template, we can make the point number and outstation unique for that instance. Repeat the steps for the start object. Now that you have a group template, you need to create a template instance that can refer to the group template for its configuration. In the templates group, create a new group named Reservoir. From the object menu for the Reservoir group, select Create Instance, and then select the Pump template. A new folder is created. The folder is green to indicate that it is a group instance. Name the instance pump1. Open the running point within the instance and note that the property fields which we selected before override are available to modify. The properties that appear on a light gray background are tied explicitly to the parent template and cannot be changed. Open the default mimic from within the pump1 template instance and verify that the status and controls update is expected. Create a second instance of the pump template and verify the same steps we made before. Now, if you modify the configuration in the template, it is immediately and automatically copied in the instances. This means that where potentially hundreds of changes may be required, the updates can be made through one simple change in the template. This can save hours of development time. We will propagate a template configuration to a template instance and see the results. Open the mimic training.symbols.animated pump in design mode. Modify the animations for fill color so that the pump is blue when it is on and pink when it is off. Open the templates.pump.default mimic and verify that the colors have been propagated from the animated pump to the embedded pump in the template. Now, in the pump template, create a new trend object that shows the raw historic trace of the running input.
Verify that each pump instance has the new trend configured for its running input and that the trace displayed on each trend points to the correct input. Now you have learned about templates and instances. The interesting thing to note when using templates and instances is that we can duplicate almost any type of object. Everything required to fully define a device can be incorporated into the template itself. This means that when we need items related to the device, we can link or use them directly within the standard configuration of the system. We have reached the end of the video don't forget to solve the attached exercise and share your experience with others in the comments section. In the next video, we will talk about how to add structure. See you next time.